this problem has all sorts of crazy math going on. Be very careful when you deal with negatives. What we're going to do is rewrite this. Instead of a negative sign in front, we're going to turn that into a negative 1. This is the real math problem. That negative 1 gets distributed to both of those terms in the parentheses. So I end up with negative 1x plus 4. Notice that's a plus because a negative 1 times a negative 4 is a positive 4 equals 2x plus 6. Now I do need to get my x terms together and I like to deal with positives whenever I can so I'm going to add 1x to both sides do the inverse operation on that side and that will make my math a little easier on this side. When you add 1x to both sides the 1x terms cancel right there, and I end up with 4 equals 3x plus 6. As you know, I don't like to have my x on the right side, so I'm going to switch it around and make it 3x plus 6 equals 4. Now I'm really just left with a two-step equation. The first inverse operation is minus 6 on both sides and those sixes will cancel that leaves me with 3x over here and a negative 2 over here the inverse operation for 3 times x is to divide by 3 and when you do that you know those 3's cancel and we are left with 3 equals, or x equals, that's not right, uh, negative 2 over 3, we're just going to leave it as negative 2 thirds. Okay. Last but not least, some formulas. This problem, they will actually want us to solve for n. I didn't write that in here, but that's what we're solving for. Now, we learned a shortcut which I'll mention in a minute. But let me go ahead and show you the math on this. The variable that we're trying to solve for is n. And you can see it's located right here. It's 360 divided by n, though. And so the inverse operation is going to be to multiply both sides by n. There are other strategies, but this is the one that fits with what we've been doing. In that case, we end up with n times c equals 360. As you know, these ends cancel. Okay, now we have n times c equals 360. We want to end up with n equals, so we have to do the inverse operation for n times c, which is to divide by c on both sides. And when you do that, the c's cancel. And we end up with our solution, which is n equals 360 over C. Now, you may recall in class that we talked about how that happens every time you do one of these problems. So we know that we can really just switch the N and the C and come up with the same answer without showing those steps. Last but not least, a green problem, which is kind of funny. Uh, it's 0.25x plus y, and we're solving for y, for x, excuse me. So you can see x is located right here. And in order to isolate x, we're going to need to do the inverse operation on plus y and then the inverse operation on times 0 0.25. The inverse operation on a plus y is a minus y. And on this side, the left, the y's are canceling. On the right, we get y 
minus or 225 minus y. We don't know how to do that math because they're not like terms. So we write down 225 minus y. What's left over here is 0 0.25x. The inverse operation to get the x, that's 0 0.25 out of there, is to divide by 0 0.25 on both sides. When you divide a quantity where there are two or more terms, you have to pretend there are parentheses in there and divide the whole doggone thing by 0 0.25. Okay? And so many of you may write the answer like this. Unfortunately, it's not really proper to leave decimals in a fraction. So what we're allowed to do is divide 225 by 0 0.25 and 1 by 0 0.25 and write those terms separately. 225 uh, divided by 0 0.25, I believe, is 900. And 1 divided by 0 0.25 is 4. And so this is really the solution for x equals.